Hello boys and girls, welcome back to peek over my shoulder while I'm new pigeoning all over new feud. Who are these people up there? Uh, by the way, you can obtain new feud from Ichio. I will be put some I will be putting some links in uh, in the description. Yay, interface! Anyway, uh, we have made Sybil almost officially the queen, at least as far as these guys are concerned. Uh, Perduce has received an upgrade. I suspect that he's not supposed to be showing from behind the corner. This body looks a lot like your father. Yes, these must all be King Warren's clones. In the event of the death of an incarnate body of a royal, as long as the monarch's consciousness has been uploaded to the neural cloud and verified by Gertzel Takeda algorithms, the king or queen cannot be legally declared dead. They may reincarnate themselves in one of their backup clones and retain position as neo-feudal monarch. What if we eradicated all of the clones, just overloaded the nuclear reactor and sent the black hole or whatever mm -hmm. is powering this fulcrum into a supermassive state. The clone bodies themselves are just empty vessels without the consciousness downloaded. Okay, so what if you guillotine the king and also destroy the digital backup? If you could prove the backup was destroyed in the royal registry and prove physical, legal brain death of the monarch's current manifestation, then the king would be officially considered dead and the heir to the throne would ascend. And the heir is you? That's right. I am the heir of Warren Clinton Bush III. Oh, hello. You got some big guns there. <laughs> I hope the game isn't gonna crash if I do that. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's there. Halt, Carl Carbon. You are forbidden from touching the prime body of King Warren III. Whoopsie. Can we switch? No. Put it away then. Okay. Um. Halt. Okay. So what about you? Could you uh, order that X-900 to stand down? He won't let me get near the king's original body. Okay, I'll keep him off your back. You! Unit EX-19385. Yes, your majesty. Why are you interfering with my subject Carl Carbon's work? This commoner is attempting to desecrate the body of the king. This is no commoner. This is Carl Carbon, the Queen's royal investigator. <laughs> I'm sorry, Queen Sybil. 
I did not realize. Your queen orders you to stand down. I'm having Carl remove my deceased father's heart to be added to the royal mausoleum. This relic of the past no longer belongs here. Of course, your majesty. That should do it. Mm. Thanks. Behold my royal soup stains. This must be my father's original body. Years ago, King Warren went into treatment for a heart attack. The papers reported a quadruple bypass, but I knew it was a smokescreen for something else. It was the first attempt at creating a true post-human. One by one, they replaced each part of the body, then the mind itself, with artificial prosthesis. But I had heard it failed. As to why the heart remains, there's a royal caveat somewhere in the big rule book. After the part about primogenesis and the descendant needing to have a net worth in the nine-figure-plus range to be considered worthy, it says that the king's official body can be replaced by cybernetic parts, the brain itself downloaded to a supercomputer, but the monarch must have a living heart, or they cannot be legally considered alive. Weird rule, instigated by Warren the I, I think he meant that the king had to have a heart, as in be a good person. But you know, the neo-feudal Supreme Court had a full house of literalists interpreting royal law at the time. The law was thrown out in 2030, when the majority of status holders and neo-feudal elite had already migrated their minds to digital databases, instantiating themselves in clones the way they change clothes. The sacredness of the meat fell into the dustbin of history, like the cassette tape, the newspaper, or democracy. So, your father said he was uploaded part of the machine itself. But could King Warren's consciousness be inside of that body? As you've already discovered firsthand, my father is a pathological liar. I doubt discarnation would have changed that aspect of his personality. So yes, I would say there's a great chance King Warren is in his original substrate here. put those together. Mm -hmm. I'd say it was nothing personal, ex-King Warren, but no, it is personal. It was bad enough with you being a horrible, black-hearted tyrant, but then you abducted my ex-wife and kid. I can't abide that. You had this coming, asshole. Feudalism's a bitch, ain't it? That's not what feudalism means. What have you done? You would betray, assassinate your own father for the throne? You're more monster than I ever could be. You've had your era, father, and you created dystopia. You've brought about apocalypse over the course of decades, creeping up on you as you remain blind, cloistered behind your golden walls in the new palace of Versailles. I have brought immeasurable wealth, unprecedented prosperity, colonized an entire solar system, at the expense of the many, your empire is built from the bodies of billions. You would make yourself immortal, sit atop the fulcrum for eternity. You believe you're some sort of post-human god. But no matter how much wealth you accumulate, how many people you exploit, how much power you amass, you are just a man. And you've been bested by a naive little girl, a beat cop, and a defective. You're not that smart. You just had the good luck of being born a Clinton Bush. <laughs> I will end you all. I will end the world if I have to. You're no daughter of mine, you ungrateful traitor. You've always had your mother's eyes. Once I rip them from that defective body, I'll implant those eyes into a new prototype of you, Sybil. 
one debugged of the flaw of disloyalty. The next Sybil will be a perfect specimen. Then you can join me in the utopia I will build. There are no flaws in paradise. Resurrected? Apparently. Proto J. And the J is the Jesus. Time to wash this muff black and sin city. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. I tried to keep him out the guard and control room, but Lauren busted through my ice wall. Use some top secret Chinese virus called Quang MK5. We're just glad you're back, kid. Sybil, what's going on with the droids and bots? It seems all of the Clinton Bush humanoids are having an algorithmic philosophical crisis or something. They can't compute who the neo feudal monarch is. So they, they dance. must be crashing due to a paradox of the king's death, yet apparent resurrection. There is no stipulation in the three laws for the case of a stolen election. So what? We're going into overtime? Some sort of runoff? It appears so. The true sovereign will be decided by sudden death. Of my father or myself. I win. I always win. It is my divine right. He must be channeling the power of the garden itself through his consciousness gestalt. Without his heart, his biological body must have passed by now. It's like the garden itself is animating Warren, keeping his mind on life support. That means the only way to stop Warren is to disconnect him from the garden, remove the controller's crown. Okay, let's take this lich king plutocrat down. Carl must have dropped this? Yoink. Oh no. Looks like some of the Royal Guard are turning cloak. I'll hold him off. Um, wait, what? Okay, so can I switch to Princess? Uh, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? I have no idea. I sort of get the idea that I should control the princess to, uh, to put the symbol on. Sybil, do you have oh, okay. the red Aleph? I I've got it right here. Now, Sybil, use <laughs> the Aleph. <laughs> Please let this work. Get away from my body. Bleep, bleep. Well, there is the good old taste something. Uh, why not? Uh. Well, threatening to weld stuff usually works. Sybil, do you have the- I I've got it right here. Now, Sybil, use the Aleph. Please let this work. So while she's doing this, he can't- Get away from my body. He can't do stuff. Okay. Pro 
Frodo, hit Warren as hard as you can with your golden third eye or whatever, right now. <laughs> Sybil, okay. do you have the red okay. Aleph? I I've got it right here. Now, Sybil, use the Aleph. Please let this work. Wait! You believe you will be different than me. That you will be a messiah. A philosopher king ruling benevolently and bringing equality and prosperity to all? If only you knew the true nature of power. Maintaining power requires maintaining loyalty. And maintaining loyalty requires horse training, coercion, pay to play, even brutality at times. Even in your precious American democracy, this was true. Every dollar you spend on the poor, our royal rival, we use against you in the neo feudal council. You'll be overthrown before you bring your first million defectives out of poverty. If I am overthrown, then so be it. The past should not be allowed to devour the future. The tree of liberty must be watered with the blood of tyrants. And if this stratoplex, this bejeweled, floating enclave of exploitative, disconnected trillionaires above a wasteland is all the neo-feudal council and neo-feudalism has to offer, then I am happy to smash all of the crowns and throw the gold shards down to the people. I will be the iconoclast queen, even if the egalitate cooperative only lasts a brief time and power hierarchies return, at least we will have a chance of something different. Have you lost your mind? You would throw your name, your crown, this life of luxury away for the unwashed commoners? You would destroy what your family labored for centuries to build, the most powerful dynasty of all time? I'd rather live in a rickety shanty in a community of human, robot, and timer equals than live another day in a vulgar, disgusting, opulent den of wealthy vipers like this palace. I hate them, and I hate you. Sybil, you can't. Whatever I have become, I am still your father. I gave you everything, all the treasure and power, and even let you run your humanitarian programs against my wishes. And though they costed me dearly, that must count for something. I love you. I want to believe that, Father. I would have believed it, but I've seen your true colors. You left me to be raised by robots, used me like a chess piece. You would burn entire cities to the ground to keep your throne. But the worst part? For all your talk of family, I know if you had to choose between your empire and me, you would choose empire. That is what hurts me the most. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Father. Splat. It blew. I'm sorry. You did what you had to do. That act took a queen's courage. You deserve the throne, Sybil. I hope that's true. Come on, buddy. You can do this. You can do this. Nanotech caused diseases aren't covered by your insurance? How can they treat people like this? Um, what's wrong, Mommy? Don't be sad. It's nothing, Johnny. Mommy's just trying to help you get better, but it's hard in this system. I'm sorry for being sick, Mommy. 
I'll eat my curl protein and get strong like Con John and Robo Apocalypse. Oh no, baby, it's not your fault. It's just. Hey, let's go home and you can watch some Sons of Monarchy. How's that sound? Don't freak them out. Hey, Jewel, is this a bad time? Hello. Are you a robot? Huh? What's what's that? A robot? Are you one? Mommy says I have to tell robots to beat it. Johnny, who are you talking to? Uh, no. I'm a human, mostly. I guess I'm a little bit robot, too. Oh, okay. Maybe I talk to you mostly, then beat it a little bit. Oh, Mommy call police and... Give me that phone. Hey. How did you get this number? What? Uh, I'm not a robocall or a collection agency or anything. I know it's you, Carl. I told you I don't want to talk to you. And you know I have a court order. Look, you don't have to tell me how you and Johnny are doing or, or listen to another shitty apology, okay? I just wanted to tell you that, uh, that I've come into some good fortune of late. That's nice. I'm real happy for you, Carl. Goodbye. Wait, just just give me a minute or just 30 seconds, okay? Hear me out. Then you can call my former CPD squad mates to come and haul me off to prison or file another lawsuit or whatever. I'll give you 15. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, look, you're not going to believe this, but I'm with a princess right now. What? You're dating one of those wannabe hype tube micro celebrities? No, 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 not that kind of princess. I I'm talking about a real, honest to jobs, has to have personal super agent bodyguards at all times, net worth in the 12 figures range, royalty with a capital R princess. Oh no. Did you go and shoot up the drugs you confiscated again? You've told some whoppers in your time, but this princess story takes the cake. Goodbye, Carl. Have a nice life. Christ, Jewel. Why do you always have to cut me down like that? Oh, it's my fault you got kicked off the force and became a junkie like the bots you were undercover with? No, it's not your... Look, I'm, I'm getting better. I'm down to only smoking hacked cigarettes. F fuck! Look, listen, just listen, okay? I'm, I'm not looking for forgiveness or a pat on the head. I just want you to know that I can help you. I have a friend in a high place. The highest place. We... we don't need your help. We're doing fine, asshole. Who are the robots that Johnny is supposed to hang up on? That's none of your goddamn... The collection agencies, right? Garnishing your dwindling paychecks, auctioning your car, coming for your kidneys, indentured servitude, debt slavery. Look, Jewel, I... I know I've been a piece of shit piece of utter trash. I'm not worthy to have any of you back. I won't even say I can make anything right. But I'm in a position to filter some of the milk and honey out of those sky castles down to you guys. Don't do it for me. You, you don't even have to do it for you. Just think of Johnny, okay? He can at least get his treatment paid for. Eat well. Uh, go to a decent school, not have to worry about all the neo-feudal bullshit of working his ass off just to barely scrape by in a low-town dump. Just do it for him. You son of a bitch, Carl. This isn't anything happening here, okay? This doesn't mean we're talking now, so don't get any ideas. I had to close the old bank account when we went into default. The new one is... I'll just text it to you. Thank you, Jewel. You're doing the right thing. Bye. <laughs> Not bad, cyborg man. A little nepotism never hurt anyone. Real smooth. You want to convert our brand new resort into a multi-species sustainability education center? But where will our campaign contributors golf with us? I don't know, Laura. The Oasis Country Club. 
or any of the other dozen mega resorts that we haven't yet clawed back and auctioned off to restore running water and cheap electricity to terrestrial coastlandia. Pray we do not repossess any further. This is insanity! Hightech Corporation is losing billions of potential profits due to tax increases. Hey, asshat! If you don't like paying your fair share for access to our new middle class markets, rule of law, all of that formerly non-existent good stuff, then go hop on one of your rocket ships and do your business in a Martian tin pot dictatorship. This is outrageous! <laughs> What's outrageous is why you're not in prison after defrauding billions from pension funds and high tech's financial branch laundering money for terrorists and drug lords. I am a neo-feudal lord. I do not have to listen to these false accusations. I am too big to jail. Oh, grow up, you big man-child. Fork over the back taxes or we're shutting you down. Just think of it as community-oriented pay-to-play. Instead of buying politicians, now you have to buy the goodwill of the citizens. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Jobs, this law and democracy thing is a disaster. <sighs> All right, I'm tired of talking to you guys. You can go away now. You, you upstart plebeian commoner. We are the aristocracy. You cannot order us around. Actually, I've technically got a lordship. Says so on the nameplate. But who needs labels, right? And sure, I can order you around. You're forgetting the first rule of feudalism. Always have friends in high places. Oh, your majesty. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Save it. I overheard everything. I'm so sorry, my queen. Oh, no. Please have mercy. Don't worry, Laura. You can keep your job. As long as you spend a year of your life in abject poverty for every two years in office. What? It's my new Egalité law. To prevent the elite from becoming out of touch with the 99%, you will have to live at the level of the society's poorest for one full year, foregoing all titles and all help from your family, friends, or other connections. I call it deprivileging of the entitled. If you survive poverty, you get to keep your wealth. Otherwise, the Egalité cooperative confiscates all of it. No Pegasus back riding? No private limo shopping trips to Dolsachi? How could anyone live like that? Tell that to the billions of humans, humanoids, and chimeras who do it every day. Don't worry, I and all monarchs will have to do the same inequality education term. Don't worry, cousin, you'll be fine. I'll see you at Kanye the Twelfth's birthday party. <laughs> oh... Hi. Nolan? You'd best get out of my sight before I have you executed for treason. Of course, my queen. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> so, how's the new Director of National Equality job going? I have to deal with the snobby rich people all day. But I get to tell them off instead of the other way around. So that's great. The view's fantastic, obviously. I'm glad to hear it. I'm going to need people like you, people I can trust at all the levers of power in the corporate state to make sure the changes we're pushing for get carried out. Of course. Well, don't worry about me quitting. I also like finally having a non-cardboard house, healthcare, and a 401 million K retirement plan. Compared to my last gig, I'm living like a king. Oh no. I don't think you'd want that job. What's the matter? Is there trouble in the fulcrum? Much of the Neo-Feudal Council is unhappy with Queen Sybil's Egalité initiative. Trillionaires don't want to give up a cent of their fortunes to those living on a dollar a day, right below their floating castles. Huh. So, how are you handling opposition? Well, they've seen the mass destruction, the unmatched power of the garden, Unilaterally assured destruction. You haven't, uh, killed anyone, have you? No, and I hope I never have to. 
but I have threatened quantum sanctions against those who defy the Egalite Cooperative. Quantum sanctions? The Coke Jobs leadership refused to participate in the mandated year of poverty, so I used the garden to relocate some of their military aircraft. Where did you relocate it? Into the asteroid belt, somewhere too difficult to retrieve. Somewhere near Phobos, in case they change their mind. Gates, damn. I guess it serves them right, but I hope you know what you're doing. There are already rumors that several families are positioning to push me out of the chairwoman position, but I'm trying to build a coalition to prevent that. But, but they can't do that, right? You're head of the Clinton Bush family, the masters of the universe. So was my father, and look what happened to him. I hate to say it, but maybe he was right. Give yourself some credit, Sybil. Standing up to King Warren, the most powerful ruler in the world, when you could have just kicked back into a lifestyle of the rich and famous. And we've already helped more than a million of the terrestrial sentients out of poverty. They've got co-op supermarkets, mixed species maker spaces, and chrome tree forest power plants springing up left and right down there. We did the right thing. I guess you're right, Carl. Plus, I still have the Garden of Forking Paths, the ultimate nuclear option if anything goes wrong. Mm -hmm. I just hope it doesn't change me, having that absolute power. I am my father's daughter, after all. You're nothing like King Warren. And hey, if you ever turn over to the neo-feudal dark side, I'll be happy to overthrow another Clinton Bush. <laughs> ha! To be honest, I kind of missed the revolution business already. Hmm. Maybe I'll dabble in foreign regime change to get the Neo-Feudal Council on my side. Whee! Hey, it's a different guy there, I think. No, I'm not sure. Oh, snap! Son of a Bitcoin! Look at you, high roller! Carl the Big Time G-Man with the fancy suit! Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. They ran out of coffee stain brown. What can I say? Didn't half your Chrome Boys crew get bricked during that coke job sting op? It looks like the assault on the arcade never happened. Uh, uh. When Sybil rewinded that nuclear explosion that Warren caused with the GFP, it, it reset the world. The coke job's mega city crashed into Dickinson right on top of the arcade. So, when Sybil undid the damage, it'd be like nothing happened up in our crib. Except, the high score on SpaceX all got <laughs> wiped. Maybe we's immigrants from an alternate universe, Shanghai into this one by the reality splice? Damn it, I worked my ass off for that high score. Well, right. glad things worked out for you guys, whatever the cosmology of it. So, now that you have Savior of Coastlandia on your resume, what's next for the great Proto-J? I've been volunteering at Foster Bot Homes, helping out short circuit and shorties. Really? Seems a little unglamorous for the six billion dollar baller. Well, I also scored some Hollywood hookups through Sybil. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be starring in Neo Failure. An action blockbuster based on our adventures, exposing corporate state corruption, directed by Oliver Chrome Blomkamp. Gonna win Oscars and shit, bruh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, oh, also, my future platinum album, Sentient Revolt, is set to drop in a week. Proceeds gonna be donated to my nonprofit to help non human inner city youths. The Genix and Bots Club. I'ma be the chrome version of Ice Cube, dog. <laughs> Good for you, kid. And I say that as your former parole officer. <laughs> I'm glad you've got your six billion dollar act together, and I don't have to worry about you giving me any more white hairs. <laughs> oh, cheesy, Bruce Willis. Uh oh, yo. You still owe me that sig. Ah, actually, 
I'm trying to quit smoking. Winners don't use drugs, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Touche. You let me know if you ever want to go on a wild goose chase, get shot at by killer androids, get locked up in a secret prison, send the New World Order into upheaval, and alter the fabric of the space-time consciousness continuum, okay? <laughs> now you know. I'm gonna cash in that gift card someday. For sure. Alright, you take care of yourself, Mr. Policeman. That's Lord Carbon to you. I got titles now. Where are you going? Uh oh. Power surge! Ah. Yo, Jen, check out them solar tree inverters. Damn. This game's glitching out. Uh oh. <laughs> Hey, who the hell is Warren? He's got the number one high score of 10 trillion points! Uh, this machine is bugged! Looks like we have come to an end! Thank you very much for watching! We'll see what the credits show. Hello, Chris.
Well, thank you for making the game, Chris and the gang. <laughs> this has been my new vision near field playthrough. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Uh, check out the links I will put in the description. You will find uh, links to Seafood and I will, I will also link uh, Chris's YouTube channel where you can find the uh, hangouts with the voice actors, for example, and uh, some uh, development uh, vlogs on the new project. As for me, well, I guess I will see you in the next world. Bye!